hello everyone in this video i'll demonstrate the new preset that i have added to the dynamic paint is the dynamic mask it comes with really nice features like dissolve shrink or spread the mask so with this dynamic mask you can easily create the interactive motion graphics and effects in the first part i will explain the settings and how to use this dynamic mask as an asset and in the second part of this video i'll break down the project files that come with this preset so let's get start so when you download this dynamic mask from blender market or from my gumroad page or from my patreon page you will get these uh, zip files so this contain the dynamic mask and this contain the project files so let's first extract that here it contains the dynamic mask for Blender 3.6, 4.0 and 4.1. So let's use this as assets. So for that, uh, we have to assign that as SL library in the Blender preference. So here we need to specify the path for this folder, dynamic mask for Blender 4.1. So now we can add this mask from the asset browser. Go to the asset browser and go to the ks tool and here we have two nodes one is the dynamic mass and another is the dynamic mask modifier so let's add a plane then we need to subdivide this plane because this mask is based on the mesh vertices so we have this geometry for this plane now let's drag this dynamic mask modifier onto this plane then go to the geometry nodes so it come with this setup and here we have the source or the brush object which is this sphere here we have the this dynamic mask node and it also come with the ks displace node which is the node from the free pack of this extra nodes okay you can get this free pack and combine that with this dynamic mask let's first go through the settings of this dynamic mask the first is the animated geometry when this geometry is animated like this plane is moving or this can be a character or a vehicle you can use this option animate geometry it's going to apply the mask onto the animated geometry okay then we have the simulation setting here you can define the start or end frame for the simulation then we have the brush settings so you can use the object or the mesh object as a brush or you can use the geometry as a brush and here i'm using the geometry as the brush and these are the modes like based on the points edges or the faces and then you can define the size and follow width for the brush and this option is uh, for the face mode means when the object is closed then you can enable the fill inside option okay and after that we have the dynamic settings here you can define the dissolve rate shrink or spread rate and also the iterations and then you have the mask settings here you can define the name and also apply the post process smoothening to the mask and this is really handy when you want to use this mask in the shading or the material so now let's see that mask if we go to the material preview uh, we can see this mask if we run the simulation see we have this mask uh, in the material uh, you can get this mask uh, using the attribute node okay and here i'm controlling the color of this material based on this mask and with this i'm displacing the mesh object uh, based on this mask okay so let's go to the brush settings if we go to the top view right now we are using the point mode let me decrease the number of subdivisions for this psychosphere and also increase the size so you will see that we are getting nothing for the mask because this follow width is really small so we have to increase this okay now it is using the points uh, to brush the mask onto the this plane we can also use the edges of this psychosphere or we can use the face and if we hide this let me decrease the fall of width 
and also increase the radius of this icosphere see it is empty inside this we can fill this option because this icosphere is closed see now it is filled inside okay and we can also use a different object maybe this let's use a circle let me pin this option and we can use this circle and circle don't have face so we can use the point or the edge mode so let's go to the first frame let me select this circle and simulation so this is really nice so let's change this to geometry So dissolve is going to dissolve the mask with time you make this zero the mask will stay okay then we have option for the spread and shrink so if we increase the rate it going to spread the mask uh, with time see so here you can control on the rate if we in the shrink mode it going to shrink that mask with time shrink option will give a different result than the dissolve in this case it is not obvious uh, but it gave a different result okay in the dynamic you can also control these uh, rates uh, with the different uh, field like a texture base or a fall of node base so you can use any field to control these rates so if we use the noise texture so let me see that make this 2 and 0 and also add the ramp node we use this as a dissolve you will see that mask is dissolved where this region is white okay you can even use the image texture for these rates okay so let's use the fall of nodes for the spread so let's use this spline edge base fall off and for the spline we're going to use this bezier curve so let's first see this fall off and i'm going to use this around 0.5 for the rate spread rate see it is spreading along the this curve and it will be more clear if our brush is static so let's use this circle something like that see and we can also make a different spline See it is spreading along the curve. So this is really nice uh, feature. You can basically control how this mask are going to spread with time or in which direction. Okay. As I said, you can use this animated option or animated geometry. So let's try that. So let's add a plane. So here we have this animated ocean and we can use our mask. So let's add this dynamic mask modifier onto this plane so let me check that yeah it is added see we have this second modifier so if we run the animation see it is not changing because we haven't enabled our this animated option so if we do that then it's going to basically update this uh, geometry 
and if we go to the material preview we can see that our mask going to spread from this circle which is the brush along this curve so let's slightly increase the size of this curve and i'm going to also increase the spread rate so if you run the simulation see it is spreading along the curve so with this you can easily add the trail or boat trail material to this animated ocean with this dynamic mask so this is it about the settings of this mask now i will break down the project files that come with this preset so let's extract this zip file so it has these two project files so we can open the first one so here here we have this plane and this is the brush uh, for this effect and i'm using the fall of note the spline based fall of note based on this curve to spread the mask see it is spreading this mask along this spline and i'm also using um, this mask to displace this mesh with this displace node and for the material i use this mask for the color transition and this texture and noise texture for the roughness and for the normal as a bump so with this hdr image you will get uh, this really nice effect with this mask see this is basically entire setup for this project and the next project file is for this material transition for this rose so in this i did the material transition for this rose Uh, because this dynamic mask going to spread the mask onto the connected mesh so first we have to connect this rows parts like these pellets and this stem and leaves into a one object or one mesh and then we're going to apply this dynamic mask so if i enable that so so for this rows i have a use this merge by distance node to merge these different mesh islands into a one and then i used the dynamic mask and then i baked the simulation with this bake node which is added to blender 4.1 then i transfer that mask from the previous rows to this rows that i used for the rendering so I just used these sample nodes, sample nearest node, and sample index node to transfer that mask uh, to this rows. And after that, I have added a small amount of displacement uh, based on the noise texture, and also add the displacement based on the mask. So that you can see, we run the simulation see when this icosphere drop into this flower which is basically the brush here this icosphere and it going to create that mask and you can see this displacement this transition displacement is happening based on this mask see so this is based on this mask and for the material so because different parts have different materials 
so to do the transition in one material i have created this uh, group node that i'd copied into different materials of this rows and inside this i'm doing a transition from this original material to this metallic material based on this mask and i have also added uh, this emission material where the transition is happening see this gluing part is based on this and this the rest of the part is based on this metallic material see so this is how i did the transition for this rose from original material to this metallic material you can even invert this transition means from the metallic to a different materials by using this kind of technique like creating this group nodes and mixing different materials with one okay so and this is the entire uh, setup for the transitions for this rows and this setup is for the brush rows okay and this is the settings for the spread here so this is it about the dynamic mask preset and it is settings and the files so if you have any query you can ask me in the comment section or you can ask me on my discord channel so thank you for watching see you in the next video happy noting bye